Here's a book I just got in the mail. Uh, it's self-published. And it's called Watch the Weather Change by Marco van Dovendijk, a Dutch photographer. You might be familiar with his work if you followed my blog. I'm just going to show you this book without talking too much about it. Photographs were taken in, uh, in Holland and in uh, Eastern Asia. And this give you, gives you a chance to practice your Dutch, if you want. I think this is uh, Fuji Instax. Uh, not that it really matters, but I think it's the only type of uh, Polaroid style film left if you uh, exclude the uh, Impossible Project, um, which is called film, which is really just impossibly expensive and very bad quality. Anyway, so this is Hong Kong. There's some email correspondence between the photographer and somebody living there. Oops. One page missing, sorry about that. In general, I really like the the overall feel of this book. Just to talk about a little bit about the technical, well, production issue here. It's a very nice, smooth, matte paper, and the book is produced very, very nicely. These little little details really matter, at least to me. So I think. Um, this 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 is part of the the experience of the object book, just the the tactile feeling of the book, even the way it smells. It's not that that's what I look out for with my nose, but still, um, you know, you can ruin or mar a book by using cheap paper or the wrong type of paper. Um, of course, you can ruin a book with bad printing, all kinds of things. So when you make a book, there are all these details that go into the production of the book beyond having the photographs. I suppose this is not safe for work, but now that you made it this far, you might as well just continue. <coughs> and what does that mean anyway, not safe for work? Another email. An interesting way to end this book. Here's the colophon. As I said, Watch the Weather Change, published in November 2011, Mark van Dervendijk. Um, 
self-published book. Beautiful little object. If you want to get a copy, contact the photographer. I'm sure he'll be happy to send you one.